Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Speedway Signature Event, checking in 2131R Redacted. I absolutely love this machine, by the way, just the overall design that's gone into it. We'll be talking about some really cool things that stand out on this robot. Uh, of course, great performances, by the way, so far, undefeated in quals at both your events, and a design award, too, at both of them, too, so congratulations on that. As we go through, kind of three main components we're going to be really looking at on this robot. Of course, their lift, I think, really stands out. they got a great dog gear, and we'll be talking about their wings, uh, kind of a unique design, wings on both sides, so I'm uh, interested to hear more about why you went that route and talking about more. Let's learn more about this team Come up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Joshua, let's start off on the lift on your robot. You know, watching on the field earlier, it's been working out so well. So let's hear about the composition of it. Any changes you made? Uh, it's been going so well so far, so I'd love to hear more about it. All right, sweet, perfect. Yeah, so this is just a four bar lift we have. Uh, we actually power it off of this 5.5 watt motor down here. Um, our design is uh, similar to Iron Eagle C, but we were, we obviously had to limit our motors here. So we found a way to run it just off of a 5.5 by doing a 12 to 84 tooth gear ratio. Uh, we've just got some simple banding here and that just helps so that the motor doesn't overheat. Uh, originally we tried to implement a high hang off of this lift, but we didn't have enough time to get it working. So we just, uh, yeah, we just took our high hang mechanism off. Is that something but, we might see in future competitions from you is putting some sort of a yeah. hang mechanism? So yeah, on future bots, we're looking to try to PTO our uh, basically PTO to the lift to have a high hang mechanism using a clamp on the lift. Very so, cool. but yeah, it just goes up nicely. And uh, for skills, we actually take our lift bands off and we just keep it down low. And that helps our shooting become a little more accurate just cause like uh, there's the, the lift isn't going up and down while we're shooting. And when we have no bands on the lift, it just helps keep that a lot more consistent. So, What's your um, speed on that? How quick are you firing? Uh, so we just have a 33 RPM kicker. So, uh, yeah, about that fast. Uh, if we did have time to fix it, though, we do have a little bit of play in the lift, but we were just short on time getting Autons finished before we could fix that. So, Looking into future competitions, you know, we talked about adding on a climber, a little bit of fixes. Uh, would you look at doing a major redesign at some point, or has this been good enough for you so far? You're like, we want to just iterate based off of this. Um, so one thing we've thought about is actually trying to power the lift off of pneumatics. So it's something we want to test. We're not really sure if we're like gonna make the switch yet, so we might just prototype a test with pneumatics and see if it works better. All right, what would you, you know, you're saving motors then, right? So you're looking at redeploying those motors somewhere else then? Yeah, so if, if we have pneumatics on our lift, we can just run our intake off an 11 watt motor and that would just make it a lot more powerful and consistent. Yeah, makes sense in there. Uh, let's talk about the dog gear uh, on your mechanism as well too, Caleb. Uh, talk to me more about that. And of course, we'll be going into your uh, your interesting wing configuration as well too. So I'd love to hear about both of those. Yeah, so we'll start with the dog gears. Um, they're a super simple hanging mech and it's something that doesn't require any pistons or motors to run off of. So it's kind of a last minute, we need to hang and it's an extra 20 points max, which is really helpful in this competition. So uh, the we just drive up to the bar. This rounded section uh, pivots our robot up so it can lift the robot up just like that. And then we hang directly there on the center. It's right across the center of gravity on the robot and it gives us a really good hang super fast. Um, if we need to drive under the bar, they fold down and they're just rubber banded back up. So it's pretty simple, yeah, pretty easy. Um, works well. And then for our wings, we do have that four mech, um, the four wing mech, like you can see right there. Um, and not only is this super helpful for pushing tri balls in and scoring match loads, but it's also really helpful for staying on the match load bar. So that's what these rubber bands, or not rubber bands, zip ties are for. It just makes sure we're always contacting and we can't get DQ'd. So. I gotta ask you about your pneumatic config on that because you know obviously you have the, the horizontal deployment versus the vertical deployment here. I, I'm guessing as you were designing this, you had to go through a couple iterations to get there for it. How did you come up with this type of packaging? Yeah, so these wings have been probably the hardest part on the robot to build, which yeah. is surprising because they're so small and almost inconvenient. But um, a lot of it was just, it's super hard to make these locking wings in the front um, and ours don't even lock right now, but they're kind of difficult to make. They have that nice little ting to them. Um, so we opted just in the beginning to run with 
these um, horizontal or vertical wings because they're super easy to deploy. I mean, not much goes into making those work. So it was kind of, those were easiest and getting them to both work on the robot seemed to help us uh, majority. You know, we score a lot with it, so kept them on. Awesome. Well, 213 and our redacted. Thanks for taking time. Tell us more about your robot here at the Speedway event. Of course, we can't wait to see how you do here at Speedway, uh, but many more events to come, I'm sure, as well, too. So we can't wait to follow you throughout the entire over-under season. Thanks a lot, and good luck the rest of the way, guys. Thank you, absolutely. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.